here. Welcome back to Faith at Home. It's so great to see you. I can't wait to see what God's up to this week and what God has in store for us. This month we're talking all about responsibility. We're finding out how we can put it into practice every day. Remember, responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. When we live with responsibility, we start to see the world the way God sees it. When we do what is expected of us, we also build trust with others. Our story this week comes from the Bible and the book of Matthew, and it's all about the parable of the bags of gold. So stay tuned for that story. And remember to make the most of what you've been given and find lots of ways this week that you can show responsibility. Got there, Lawson. Ooh, it's a new board game. I just got it. It's huge in Latvia. Cool. You want to play? Do I? All right. It's pretty straightforward. So you start by choosing a token, right? Now, the green token has a different power than the orange one because the green token has the ability to roll again every single time you roll a four. Now, the orange player can only carry one antique at a time. Each antique has a special unique ability. You get to add one move to your turn unless you roll a prime number. So next up, the red token right here gives you the power to scapegoat one other person. Now the blue token gives you the ability to carry water. Now to start the game, you need to roll two ones. Right, so now we already mentioned a couple different regions of the board, like the prairie of inexplicable darkness and the desert of forgotten dreams, but there's also the sea of our desalinated tears and the echo chamber of our lesser angels. Now, you can move by rolling the dice, drawing a card. Now, are you ready to play? Here we go. Oh, so close. All right, your turn. Hello, 
everyone, I'm Steven. And I'm Lawson, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Steven, you know what I was thinking? We should play a game. Let's do it. But I'm all out of games. Oh. So please welcome someone who knows stuff. Woohoo! Come in, come in. All right, take a seat. Here we go. Boom. Pop a squat. All right. Right there. All right. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. I'm not usually on camera. This is all very exciting. Yes. So why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? Well, I'm Sebastian Longfellow, and I design board games. Wow. Can you tell us about some of the games you've designed? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, I have a brand new game I'm working on where the goal is to move all four of your pieces from your home pad to the center, but it has special goals, like you can um, set up a blockade with two of your pieces, and uh, you can roll again if you roll doubles. So, like, Parcheesi? I never heard of it. It's a pretty popular game. Huh. Uh -oh. Uh, so what other what other ideas you got there in that notebook? Oh well, well this one is well, this one's really creative. Mm -hmm. It's on a special board with a numbered grid with different ships on it. Your opponent has to call out the different coordinates, and if they hit where your ship is placed, it's a hit. Your goal is to sink all of your opponent's ships. Oh, battleship. Yeah. No, I call it sink a ship. But it's like battleship. Very similar. That, that, that's a game. Yeah. Okay. What else? Well, yeah. well this one um has five dice. And oh, Yahtzee. Oh, well, 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 this one. Um, it, it, you make words from different letter tiles and you put them together. That's and you Scrabble. Can... I think that's I think that's where you're going. Okay. With that. Well, well, this one can be played anywhere. It's a it's a it's a three by three grid and you okay. make X's and O's and then tic tac toe. Tic -tac -toe. It's with, with the three by three. That's tic-tac-toe. Someone is stealing my ideas. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Clearly, uh, you've got a talent for coming up with board game ideas. You just have to come up with an idea that no one's ever tried before. So, you know, let's come up with a theme. Yeah. What is a good theme for a board game? Clowns. Okay, yeah. Uh, clowns. Clowns. Sure. So, okay, you come up with a clear goal for the clowns. What's a good kind of like a theme that they have to, uh, a goal that they have to work towards? Let's say they have Fit to. Ten of their friends in a car. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Yes. yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yes, uh, I actually like that. That's special. There's a simple and direct goal everyone is trying to accomplish. Yes. And then you would layer in different objectives and, a, and you know, obstacles like a, an escaped lion, a heckling child, or, or banana peels of varying sizes. Now you've got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. Has anybody made that game yet? I don't know. No, but it sounds Let fun. me go and make it before someone else does and steals my idea. Oh. Sebastian Longfellow, out. Good luck. Bye, buddy. Fun with your clowns. I'd play that game. Do you want to invent it before he does? Stop. Okay, sorry. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> Kellen. What's up, guys? Not much. What do you got for us today? Well, I got a parable that Jesus told from the book of Matthew. Now, Jesus would often teach using stories called parables that showed a bigger truth about God or the world. Perfect. Take it away. Sure thing. And here to help me today are the so-and-so show players. Okay. Why? Jesus talked about an important person who was going on a journey. And we'll call her... The boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going on a journey. <laughs> oh, but I have so many bags of gold. <laughs> what should I do with them? <gasps> I have an idea. A marvelous idea! <laughs> I give the bags of gold to my servants and I let them take care of it. Sonia! Yes, the boss. I'm going on a long journey. Oh. And I'm trusting you to take care of these five bags of gold. Me? Absolutely. You want me to be in charge of these 
five bags of gold. I'm trusting you to take good care of them. Thank you. Patricia! Yes, the boss? I'm going on a long journey, and I'm putting you in charge of these two bags of gold. Me? Exactly. You want me to be in charge of these two bags of gold? Your fortune, your wealth. I trust you to take good care of them. Yes! <laughs> of course. <laughs> Blanche! Yes! <clears throat> yes, boss. I'm going on a long journey, and I want you... Yes? ...to be... Yes. ...in charge yes. of... Yes! ...in charge of this one bag of gold. Me? Yes. I trust you to take good care of it. And now, I'm off! What am I supposed to do with this? Time passed, and the boss came back from her long journey. Let's see what happened to my fortune. Sonia! The boss, you left me in charge of these five bags of gold. And? And I took it and turned it into these five bags. You've been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of many things. Share in my happiness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Patricia! Voss, you trusted me with two bags of gold, and I turn it into two more bags of gold. You've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of a many things. Yes! <laughs> Come, share in my happiness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is so good. <sighs> Blanche? Hey, the boss. And you're pretty, um, you know, you're tough, so I was scared of this responsibility, so I, I, I took your gold and I buried it in the dirt. I kept it safe. So here's your one bag of gold. You knew I was tough, and you did nothing with my money? But you, you could have put it in a bank. At least you just let it sit there yeah. in the ground doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, Sonia! <gasps> yes. Yeah. You're in charge of this bag of gold, <gasps> too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Dancing. You could have shared in my happiness, but you chose not to do anything with what you were given. You missed out. Outside. Mm. Yeah, go. Keep going. Farther. Is this far enough? Farther. Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Patricia! Let's party! <laughs> the end. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, I learned a lot. Like, maybe I shouldn't have buried that bag of bicentennial quarters my Aunt Matilda gave me. Mm, maybe not. But remember, a parable is more than just a story. There's a deeper meaning. So it's not just about burying money? No. I think the story teaches us that God has given us so much. Now, maybe he hasn't given us money or bags of gold, but 
He has given us talent and creativity and energy and strength. And we can use what God has given us to tell others about him or to show God's love. We shouldn't keep the gifts God has given us to ourselves. They're meant to be shared. That's great. Thanks, Kellen. No doubt. I'll see you guys later. Later. Bye, Kellen. Great story. Yeah, and it helped us learn another rule of life. Make the most of what you've been given. That's a good rule. Sure is. Hey, will you call me the boss? Absolutely not. Okay, then. Reveal the question! How can you use what you've been given? Right, because we've all been given something. Talent, intelligence, love. This shovel. Bags of bicentennial quarters. That too. Talk about it with each other. How can you use what you've been given? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show! Go! Ah. Do it. Do it. Let's see you guys at home can see it. Do it. That's not 20. I got him! That's like 10. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> I'm gonna catch yours, you catch my... Okay. I can't even put it on my own. So I'm gonna go that way, you go this way. I'm gonna go to my right, yeah. your left. Okay. And you go to your north, southwest degrees. Okay. And go, one, two, three. Did you get, get it? it? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs>